What's up guys, it's Nighty here, and today I'm going to be doing a video that I don't really do too often. I do this usually like at the beginning of the year, right as the game comes out, or later in the year, when more people are playing this game to use the fun cheesy cards, but I need to do this video more often because me being the guy that uses mostly budget cards, like if we're looking at my team, I have Throw Bailey who costs like 17k and then I evoed him. I have Hito Turkle who costs like 17,000 MT. And then I have Isaac Bong who costs 1,000 MT. The rest are free. So you'll know that I don't like to spend that much MT on cards. I have 513k. Like I won't use that until the end of the year. When like glitched cards are coming out. Like it's already like these new packs yesterday really it's it's beginning of the end with this Luca card. But today I'm going to be doing the top 10 really there's like what 13 on this list but we're calling it top 10 because I didn't know where to put some guys because some guys were tied because I think their talents are very similar in game. So yeah top 10 budget cards in NBA 2K22 my team right now the date is March the 5th and I'll probably I'll try and do one every month. My goal now is trying to make one every month um, and see how we do here. So I do have some honorable mentions. I have four honorable honorable mentions. Um, the first one up is a guy that I love using, especially in limited, and he's actually a card that I do like to use. Um, and that is when we go to the limited edition set, you will see that there is a Ruby RJ Hampton. Now this card here, I wish he was six six because I think he is six six, or maybe he isn't. I don't know. He was 6'6 last year. But his stats, like, only an 83 ball, but it's greenable because he's got base 80, which is a really nice release. But he's going to dunk the ball really well, and he's got really solid defense, and he's super fast. Also, 30 gold badges. Hawk, or gold catch and shoot corner specialist. Dimer. He's got the clamps and interceptor, post riser. He's got the quick first step. Like,. But the thing, like, his stats and badges, like, they, they're good, don't get me wrong. They don't stand out to you as much. Um, I didn't even put him in my lineup. Uh, <laughs> uh, he, I'm, just, I'm not going to go into freestyle. It'll take too long. Um, he's got Pro 3, which is the best behind the back in the game, if you don't know. Quick dribble style, which makes your cards extremely fast. And... And it's super, super easy release to time. So that's why he's up there. But I do think there's a better point guard up there. You could say this card isn't better. But in my opinion, uh, I think he's better. And we'll get there soon. And then if you, we go to the all-star set. So a set that didn't come out too long ago. You would see that there's a diamond buddy heals. This card is stupid cheap. Like, he's two, he's like 2-3 KMT. He's got the Kobe base. 95-3 actually very solid defense really good speed like all these half shooting badges and then on gold like he can play defense he's got the limitless spot up and he's got the quick first step so again got the kobe release which is one of the best releases in the game but i do think there are some better cards up here that may have come out today that could be better but you never know and then some really budget guys here uh, cards that like if you're just starting the game I would might suggest picking up is this uh, I know he's in limited edition is this Jonathan Kaminga who like he might have the big dribble style but his release is super nice insane on defense and can shoot the lights out with a nice release it looks weird but it is nice and then final final honorable mention is from the level upset and that would be JT Thor his release is super super easy to green as well so yeah that are the honorable mentions now let's get into the top 10 starting at number 10 going back to the limited edition set i have amethyst markel fultz now the reason i put this card above rj hampton is because i prefer steph curry release to base 80 now don't get me wrong i love base 80 but steph curry release is so so easy to time his release is so nice he is 6'4 um, he's got a good three ball, better than RJ. His dunking isn't as good. He does have the slasher dribble style, which isn't as good as well, but it's still fine. 86 ball handling. His defense is better, and he's got very good speed. Also, 45 gold badges as well. Like, gold catch and shoot, difficult shots, hyperdrive. He's got dimer, pickpocket, pick dodger, clamps, interceptor, intimidator, posterizer. 
He's got bailout down, no handles for days, quick first step, tight handles, unpluckable. He's got all the badges you need except for a limitless spot up, but the fact that this guy was so cheap for his time, and I think he is still super cheap, like, yeah, 1500 MT, like, he's even cheap, he's almost 1000 MT, he is so, so good for that price. I didn't really say the cap value uh, for these budget cards, I think the most expensive one here is maybe 13k, but he'll fluctuate in price, but yeah, Markel Fultz is that guy and that number nine right beside him marvin bagley if you need a budget uh big man that can shoot the ball this is your guy because he's 6 11 94 offense 92 defense his stats on offense are fantastic like good post game 84 three ball good dunker actually pretty solid defense and he's got very good speed also i think he's got limitless spot up he's got clamps and he doesn't have limitless spot up, but he's got the quick first step. This card is super underrated, especially now. Like his release is, you gotta green it. Um, but like he's so cheap. He's what 1500 MT as well. If you need a really budget big man, then go get yourself a Marvin Bagley because he really is good. I do like this card a lot. And then at number eight, I do have a tie here because. These two guys here, they're similar in price, but it depends on how you play. If you want a more athletic big man, you go with this guy. And if you want a more shooting, more defensive uh, interior-wise, you can go this guy. I'd say one is a little bit better, but I didn't know where to put them two on the list. So the first one here is actually from the Signature Series set. And that is... Oh, I don't, I don't have him anymore, I don't think um it is this search Ibaka, whichever one you get whichever one's cheaper it doesn't matter like this card is 4.8k the same this one is i think half volume shooter the other one doesn't so the other one's probably cheaper but that badge doesn't really matter this search Ibaka though like he's got a 93 ball that's just boosted with a shoe he's a insane dunker uh really good post game and insane on defense with solid speed now he does have the big dribble style but he can shoot the lights out like his release is so fast and he's got the clamps and he's got the limitless spot up so if you need a big uh shooting big man then get this guy right here now the alternative to him is a guy who i think is a couple inches smaller but i think is the same price and he's in the beast set and that is josh smith okay why is he unsearchable come on there we go yeah so he might even be a little cheaper but josh smith right here is a little bit smaller can shoot the ball as well but per, like defensively he's a little bit better and he's super fast also got the hoff clamps and interceptor intimidator like yes this card's probably better but there are preferences to how people play this game if you don't want a small big man that can't really shoot as well then get yourself a sergi baka if you want a more athletic big man go get yourself a josh smith they're both fantastic cards josh smith like i said might be a little bit better but they are really the two of them are really good cards so you know what it's your decision here it's your mt um and yeah so next up here we have uh at number seven still from the beast set is the guy a couple spots down here this is also a tie right here bob sura okay that's not what i wanted to do bob sura here is one of the best value point cards in the game because like He's six foot five, got an 88 three ball, insane dunker, very solid defense and good speed. Um, he's got all these Hoff badges, um, a Hoff clamps, interceptor, intimidator. Like I think he's got, he doesn't have range, but he's still a fantastic dunker. His release is a little slow, but it's super easy to green and he's super fast. So a card I do enjoy a lot. And then a guy right along him, I couldn't really know where to put him is either diamond um or pink diamond Derek anderson wherever you decide to buy this card is six foot five as well he can't play the point but his release looks weird it's super easy to green though 94 three very good defender good speed i think he's got like half clamps yeah half quick for step half blinders when evo he becomes insane i love his release too i think he's got range yeah so i think Derek anderson could be that a little bit better but he can't play point so they have their pros and cons um, and then a card that would have 
but Bob Sir would have been higher if this card did not come out yesterday. And that would be this Diamond Spencer Dinwiddie. Uh, this card I think is the most expensive. I think you can get him for like 4 or 5k MT. Uh, this one I got for 5k. I think you can get another one for like 3 or 2.5k. But he's a 6'6 six six point guard with a 93 ball. Can't dunk as well. His defense is similar. Similar speed and lateral, but I mean he's got half range. My guy is half range. Same amount of badges though. Also half quick first step. His release, again, on the slower side, but still really good. Can still play defense very well. And honestly, a cart I really like in this game. I'll probably go over him on my team adventure later on. But yeah, very, very solid card here. Alright, so now we are getting to the top five here. Now these guys, like, towards the top they're better, but like five through three through five, they're interchangeable. I think all three of these guys for their prices are unbelievable. Starting out at uh, number five with Lance Stevenson. You could argue this guy's number one, depending on how you play, because he is six foot five. He's got an 88 three ball, but his defense is insane. He's stupid fast, like Hoff clamps, rebound chaser, quick first step, sniper, all on Hoff. He's also got gold catch and shoot, dimer, pickpocket, pick dodger, interceptor, intimidator, and then he's got range too. Also, handles for days. They really badged out this Lance Stevenson. One of my favorite cards personally to use in this game. This Lance Stevenson is fantastic for only a cheap price of like... I pulled mine out of a free pack from the challenge game. I mean, you probably could get this guy. Pro he's a little more expensive now, but at the time, you probably could have gotten him for like 2 KMT, and he's still like 3 KMT. This card is so good. And then next up... One of my favorite cards to just use in Triple Threat Online is this Palgasol. His, for some reason, 2K decided to juice out Palgasol. Like, they gave him a ball handling. He can shoot the ball with a like, pretty nice release. He's got good defense, and his speed is really good. Also, he is Hoff Interceptor, which is one of the most important badges to have this year. Um, I mean, in any year, but Hoff Sniper as well. He'll rarely miss a three-pointer. Also, like, blue hands, dimer, pick dodger, chase down on his clamps, intimidator. He's also got the limitless spot up badge. Like, he really is insane. And don't forget, he's got quick first step. For only a price of, what, 10k MT? Like, yes, he is the more, he's a more expensive budget card. But, like, you can get this guy for 10k MT, and I think you won't be uh, mad at all. Looks like he's a little more expensive now. I got mine for, like, 6,000 MT last week which is really crazy, but um, yeah, 15K I still think is a really good price for this card because I mean, he's one of the best budget big men in the game for sure. And then at number three, a card that did come out yesterday is this brand new pink diamond. Where is he? Kyle Korver. Kyle Korver, this is a signed version who's more expensive. His unsigned version is like 6,000 MT. It's really crazy. Like, okay, that's Surge. Where are you? There you are, Corver. Like, this unsigned version is literally 6k MT. This card does not miss a three-pointer. His release is so easy to time. He's actually got a good ball handling and really good, or really solid defense. Well, he's a little bit slow, but he's got the shifty dribble style to make up for it. And he's got 12 half shooting badges. Like, this guy does not miss three. He can also play defense. Like, they gave him the gold defensive badges. This card is absolutely insane. With the quick first step, can dribble a little bit. No handles for days, so he's not the best dribbler. He can shoot. He can play defense. This card is so good for only 6,000 MT. Then, at number two, we have the man, the myth, the legend. We all know from previous years, he's got to be up here. Number two is... I am this Isaac Bonga. He's a six foot eight point guard who costs 1000 MT. I don't care. This card is the best value card in the game. Maybe number one is, I I don't know what to, I don't know what else to say. This value wise, you cannot go wrong because he is six foot eight. His release is so, so nice. 85 three pointer, 85 dunk. His defense is so good. Super fast with good lateral. Hoff floor general and unpluckable, which are two good badges to have. He's also got goal catch and shoot corner. He also has all these defensive badges. 
No range, unfortunately, but you can't get everything. But he's got handles for days and quick first step with a fundamental dribble style, which is still very good. This Isaac Bonga is fantastic. I, He's my backup point guard. Right now, he's my starting because I did sell my Cade Cunningham. I'll go over that in a different video. Um, but yeah, he really is that guy. But at number one, one of the newest cards in the game. My favorite card currently to use right now, because I don't miss with the man. It's Hito Turkoglu. This card, ah, uh, man. This card I got for like 17,000. I picked up the unsigned version in my gameplay for like 9k MT. This dude is insane. Because I recommend getting the unsigned version if you are more on a budget because he's six foot ten, so he's super tall at that small forward position. He's got an insane three ball of 93 good ball handling solid defense like his stats there's nothing wrong with his stats his lowest stat is an 80 and that's a standing dunk like it's a useless um it's not useless but it's still good for him also his badges are insane half catch and shoot corner specialist dimer blinders limitless spot up downhill quick first step dead eye sniper also gold post spin gold clamps interceptor intimidator he also has the handles for days on gold. The other one has half handles for days, which is insane too. This Hito Turkoglu, in my opinion, is the best value card in the game. He he can compete with any, with I shouldn't say any, I should say most small forwards slash power forwards in the game. And yeah, Hito Turkoglu really is fantastic. So those are my players there. So there's a little more than 10, a couple honorable mentions, a couple tied guys there. But let me know, what do you think? what you would change who else you would add on here because there are so many great budget cards this year please do let me know in the comment section who you think is your favorite budget card in the game in my opinion it's definitely hito turkaloo so that is going to be the video please subscribe like the video and tell your friends about it i'll see you guys next time